Hi guys, um, been doing a lot of clips for the Thais, obviously in Thai, and I've had a lot of requests to do these kind of clips in English as well, so here we go. In case you don't know who I am, I'm basically everywhere, I mean, you probably seen me in Facebook in all the groups, my Facebook name is uh, Itty, I mean next time I'll probably have something up to the side so you guys know who I am and obviously some of you guys already break with me 12 man but I also done a lot of the breaks and like I said um, first time doing it in, in English usually I do it in ties sort of for the Thai community with regards to all the soccer ga soccer cards and what we have been doing is basically I mean we did a clip about Sile Euro when it first came out and I thought I told everyone that you know I haven't had the when I did the clip I didn't have the cards in my hands I have I didn't I haven't broken any boxes or cases yet and the prices were still fluctuating so this is that was about two weeks or three weeks ago and then so this is sort of the the follow up so I mean for you guys watching in English you, you probably won't understand that clip but we basically want to see what the product is now what the card looks like. Um, I touched on the checklist last time as well, which I'll probably touch on a little bit this time. And in terms of pricing, and for the Thai part, you know, us Thais weren't as excited about the product, and we touch on on why, which I'll also let you guys in on it as well. So first up, in terms of uh, appearance, when it first when the card first came out, of course, everyone was excited, but I didn't have the cards on hand. I mean, I saw everyone breaking from, from Cyrus, from GV, from Austin, Naughty, and all that, but um, I didn't have the cards. I eventually had the card after I did my first clip, but um, I must say, the cards look very nice. I mean, I've got a couple examples here, like the, the Torres autograph, or I definitely love the inserts. I mean, here's a couple inserts that I have on hand with me, and I even have like a dual autograph of Kimmich and Beckenbauer. So, in terms of appearance, I think we all would agree that the card, the cards look super nice. Definitely a little bit disappointed with the patches which I have. I got all these from eBay, of course. What I'm talking about is I love the design. I just was a little bit disappointed with the patches, but then again, it's select. So I wasn't expecting patches like Immaculate or even Impeccable that came out a couple of months back. But, you know, in terms of gold to 10 autograph, patch autograph or patches, I was a little bit disappointed. But overall, I was still impressed with the design, especially the inserts. I mean, let me blow up like, I mean, most of you guys would, would have seen the visionary which is so damn hard to pull, by the way. But like I've got a Sancho example here, and unfortunately I do have a couple of visionaries here. I didn't bring it here to, to do the clip, but I love the inserts, and I also like the gold inserts. I mean, I'm not sure how many of you guys have seen it on hand, but like for example, like a equalizer gold here. I mean, I was lucky to pull one for one of the ties, and the actual cards look so impressive. So in terms of appearance, Top marks, top marks. Point of note, I did notice when I was breaking that a lot of base cards on certain packs were not damaged as in dent corners, but there were a lot of scratches and a lot of marks on the cards. But I haven't seen them with the insert. I've seen a lot with the base cards. So that, again, usually that always happens. So, but overall, not bad in terms of the card design. Now, in terms of box price, the boxes prices are in Thai because, of course, I was doing a clip for the ties. Expensive. <laughs> I mean, you probably all know it. It is expensive. I mean, people were saying it's overpriced. Let me just say it. Yes, I agree. I mean, looking at the eBay prices now, this is as of October 6th, October 7th, I was, when I was doing this clip. A hobby box on eBay was still going around 500 to 600 USD per box. Hybrid were running around, I think, 300 to 400 
USD per box. Personally, I think it is a bit high. You'll probably see why when I go into more details of in terms of the resale price of cards and all that. I was hoping that price would drop a little bit, but then again, with the soccer boom, with the amount of people joining breaks now, buying boxes, doesn't seem likely that it will go down anytime soon. So on in terms of prices, I'm still a little bit, maybe because I've been collecting for a long time and I'm not used to these kind of prices. I mean, select 17 with the Mbappe, Mbappe RC, when we, we, when, when we were breaking it a lot, breaking as in when I was breaking, when I was joining breaks in the US, I mean, that wasn't even at these prices. So I don't know, maybe in two, three weeks, we shall see how the prices are in terms of the boxes. But what I wanted to touch on were the prices of the autograph. I mean, the usual players, the Van Basten, the Klose, the who else, Henri and all that, you still get a decent price. I'm not talking, I mean, of course, if you get like a gold auto to 10 or even a shorter print or a one one of course, you're going to make your money back. But if you or anyone look closely at the autograph prices. Now, I touch on this first because in terms of ties and probably Asians, you know, we are not that much into inserts and base cards. I mean, yes, since the boom, everyone's digging up all their base cards, their inserts and saying like crazy, but beforehand, it wasn't like that. So for such, especially ties, we would focus on the autographs first. And based on the prices of the cards that are going in, like a gig to 75 is going for like less than $200. I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about like Olsen, I mean, don't, no disrespect, not also in our Wesley song and all that. I mean, but even for like an Henri, which is a case hit, I think there's an Henri somewhere down the line here, an Henri copper for, I mean, it's in 4,175 baht, which is around 150 USD, I would say, for a 500 to 600 USD box. I mean, you're not going to get your money back from even a case hit. Like I said, if you hit a, go to 10 or less, a 101 or a CR7, then of course you're going to make your money back. And I'm not even going to go into like the normal autographs. I mean, the Jao Felix, yes, but apart from that, there's a lot of short print autos, which again, in terms of checklists and the autos, I was a little bit disappointed. I mean, everyone's been saying this, that Panini just went back to the six, the stickers they had and they haven't actually added anyone good. But then again, so with these prices, when I started to look in terms of the box price, the box price and the autograph price, of course, you're not going to make your money back. So as most of you guys are probably more educated than the ties when I was doing this clip for them, is that um, it's probably about the inserts for this product. And I got a couple of examples that I want to share with you. For example, I mean, I have to scroll back up because I was doing a clip and tie. But bear with me. Maybe a lot of ties don't know this yet, but maybe you do. If you look at the base cards or the inserts, uh, the first example is uh, Frankie DeJong. Now, it's not even his RC card or his rookie card. I mean, I, I have had people saying, yeah, it's his first Netherlands cards and all that, and I'm not even gonna go to what's an RC, you know, because the RC or rookie goes back to the stickers or, you know, what type of panini. And let's just say for argument's sake that this product has an RC logo on it, and it's his first Netherlands car. I'm not saying I believe in this, but just for the sake of this video, pretty good prices. I mean, if, if, if you take Netherlands or you open a box and you get Frankie de Jong, I mean, uh, color variation green to 1.9 sales for 2000 baht, which is like 60 USD. And that was three days ago. I mean, you see like a silver, color variation for like $20. So you start to see a pattern with this product is that a lot of people are buying up these cards. Again, I'm not going to go into why, who's driving the price, speculation, RC, blah, blah, blah. But I wanted to show you this, a zebra for Frankie, 
went for almost a thousand USD. A two five went for around eight hundred USD. So that's five times, ten times more than the autographs I was showing you before. My second example would be these two players, Declan Rice and Van der Beek. Again, I picked these two up because I was talking to a lot of people and they were saying for Declan Rice, it's his first England card, so to speak. I mean, beforehand, if you weren't a West, West Ham supporter, you wouldn't think twice about Declan Rice. But if you actually go into the prices of what his cards are, of course, it's not going to be like the Sancho level on Mbappe, Mbappe level. But if you look at the prices, I mean, a 279 purple sold for 2,700 baht, which is almost 100 USD, I think, 80, maybe, 90, similar, 90 USD. I'm not even going to touch on the gold because the gold will go for crazy money. Again, these cards are selling more than most, I would say most, maybe 50% of the historical autos. Van der Beek, I know it's a fee level, it's hard to pull, but look at his base cards are going for around 60 USD. These are three players that I came up with an example. If you guys have time, try searching players like uh, Bruno Fernandes is another example that his cards are going for quite high. Um, Sancho, I won't even touch on because everybody knows that Sancho is selling. Mbappe, people saying it's his fourth year, why is it selling? But it is selling. Okay, okay it's not crazy prices, but it is selling for a lot higher. So those kind of cards, I think, are what is driving the product, or at least at the time that I'm recording this video. But I've got to say, I've been following because I like the design and the visionary. The first few days, people were listening for crazy money. And if you look closely as the day that I'm recording this now, prices have dropped drast drastically. I think I said that right. I mean, I'm picking up cards now for $30, $40, $50. Not the big players, of course. Sancho would still sell high. Van, Van Dyke would still sell high. But I'm saying that in terms of the price of the visionary cards are dropping, similar to like the Color Blast of the EPL Prism. When it first came out, people were crazy going for it. I'm talking about the ones that didn't have like a number on them. Okay, that, that doesn't have the parallel. But visionary, you can see. The second point to note, if you're going to buy one, are the mascots. Now, I myself have a mascot. I mean, it's still with, with the US guys. A lot of people have been asking me to buy it off me. I said I was keeping it, but I did do some research to see how much they were going for. And I came up with this conclusion that nobody knows. I mean, all the cards on eBay for the mascots are listed for crazy price. But at the moment, no one is willing to list it as a bid. So that makes me think that even the seller does not believe or does not have 100% certainty in his mind or her mind that this card will go for high value. Because if he or she knew or thinks that it would go for high money, why wouldn't you list it as a bid? Why would you list it at 800 USD, 1000 USD? Because in your mind, that tells me that he or she also thinks like what I'm thinking, that yes, they are short print, but are they that high value? I saw the team logos go for really, what do you call it? Small amount. They were selling for $50, $80. I mean, even the team photos, aren't selling for as high as people thought they were going to when the product broke the first day. So my point is, in terms of select, when I was talking to Thais, okay, for, like I said, for Thais or Asian, we're not into this product as much because, you know, we focus mainly on the, the autographs. And as you can see, I tell most of the Thais, if you're after a certain autograph, you may as well just buy it because breaking won't probably get your money back. But I can see why a lot of US guys or European guys are breaking this product because people are chasing the, the shorter print parallel or the inserts or whatever you want to call it. And like I said, I'm not going to judge 
the price, why this player is, is a rookie or not, blah, blah, blah. But I'm only doing this clip based on the information I have. And I just wanted to share that a lot of people ask me if I thought this product was, in terms of the box price, was going to drop. Honestly, when it first came out, I saw the checklist. I saw people breaking it. I thought, yeah, give it two, three weeks, it will drop. Well, it has been two, three weeks and it hasn't dropped because a lot of people are still joining the breaks. The base cards of certain players, another player would be Donna Ruma selling high, all these players are selling high. So probably in the next two, three weeks, my opinion, and again, I repeat my opinion, prices will probably stay like what it is. Second point, why it will say like this? Because the market is not flooded with the product. A lot of these products are being held by someone or whatever. I don't know who is held on, but as you know, a lot of breakers didn't get allocated much. So where are the products? We don't know, but because there's less product, prices are going to stay like this. That's my opinion. Anyway, it will eventually drop. If more products are released, people are not joining breaks or these cards aren't selling, but you know, as long as a, a Frankie or a Sancho or a, a even a Don, Donny van der Beek or Bruno Fernandez are selling, people are always going to take the risk of joining the breaks to get a good card, to flip it or whatever, even send it to grade because you know, not many cards are out with the, with the graded as well. So that might be a factor as well. All in all, I guess we'll have to wait maybe one to two months to see where this product takes us. But like I said, I love the design. I wouldn't say I hate the price. It's just even for me, it's a little bit expensive to join breaks. And like I said, maybe I'm old school. I'm seeing like a two box break and seeing only two autos. I'm like, I want to see more. But then I, again, Maybe I'm just used to the old stuff of full cash pay whatsoever, but I guess we shall see in two months where this product takes us. My suggestion would be if you have a good card, sell it now. I mean, I've certainly sell a lot of Sancho's that I've hit, but again, it's up to you. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I will try to do more videos in English because I do a lot of clips not necessary for new products. I do all kinds of gradings. I mean, in terms of clips in, with regard to grading, with regard to certain cards, all that. So I will try to do an English version of well in case some of you guys are interested as well. If you do have something to share, you want to discuss, PM me. I'm in the buy, sell, trade group. I'm pretty much breaking with all the breakers. And again, the page is this side, this side. Cool, man. A lot of you guys probably already know me my page anyway so until then thanks for watching see ya